In Video Edge 5.3, software RAID can now be configured on the One U POE NVR. This feature supports a RAID 5 or JBOD configuration of four disks. Upon logging into the Video Edge, a GUI will appear prompting the installer to choose a storage configuration option. This feature can be configured during an OEM installation only. If four disks have not been added to the NVR, the RAID 5 option will not be available. When the storage configuration option has been selected, a warning message will appear, advising that all data will be destroyed. Select yes to proceed with the configuration of the software RAID. It will take several moments for the disks to initialize. Once the disks have initialized, the Video Edge installation wizard will start as normal. When the installation wizard completes, the RAID tab can be viewed by navigating to Storage, Advanced, RAID. The RAID status will display as clean, degraded, recovering. This is a normal part of the software RAID build process. This build process may take 12 to 15 hours to complete. However, during this time, the NVR can still record. If a disk is removed from the array, a red icon will appear next to the disk in the physical drives column. When the RAID array is in a degraded state, the rebuild button will become clickable. This will rebuild the entire array and irretrievably destroy all data in the existing RAID. It is important to note that whilst the Video Edge One U NVR supports an aggregate throughput of 100 megabits per second when using a single storage set, utilizing software RAID will reduce that throughput to 50 megabits per second. The RAID tab can be accessed by any NVR running Video Edge version 5.3. For non One U units with a RAID configuration, an overview of the RAID status will be displayed. For non-RAID NVRs, a message will simply display stating no RAID units detected. NVR software RAID in Video Edge 5.3, a vital part of your world.